This is the book of Deuteronomy chapter 32 and verse 39. It says, See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. Start off by giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rachadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, a great millstone that will well in Shalom, to Akya Akim that we push in this word around the globe in faith and in truth and sincerity. As always, I'd like to start by saying that we are the real Hebrew Israelites, the real Israelites, these so called Negroes, Latinos, Hispanics, Native Americans, West Indians, and West Africans predominantly. However, you are going to get Israelites that do look like the other nations because Israel has been scattered amongst all people for our various captivities. But if your um, seed line by your forefathers goes back to the man in the Bible that was named Jacob, then you too are an Israelite, no matter what you may look like, because uh, Numbers chapter 1 and verse 18 states that your nationality is determined by the lineage of your forefathers. So, in this lesson, I want to bring up this uh, this uh, wicked nigger here, um, wicked two-third, Jake. Uh, some of you may remember this this character, uh, Lil Boozy, who I think it was last year was um, swearing at the Most High, saying that God can't tell him what to do if you want to eat pork, he'll eat pork, and you know he gave gave Yahweh the middle finger, and was talking all kinds of mess, and uh, you know Bubba's done videos on this when it happened last year. Well, guess what? It seems like judgment has caught up with this guy. You know, because the Most High is not mocked. I read the um, precept to open the lesson with. Uh, it says, uh, Deuteronomy 32 and 39. See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So this character, Lil Boozy, has been wounded. And the Most High is preventing him from healing. So the most size behind all of this, Yahweh, uh, who's the name of the Heavenly Father, why Yahweh Shai, meaning An Yahweh Shai, which is the one that the world dignity calls Jesus Christ, they've brought these calamities upon this character here. So let's read this article. It says, um, this is from Hot 107.9. Reports say that Lil Boozy may have his leg amputated and Twitter is going crazy. And this was published on November 19th, 2020, which is today. It says Twitter is going wild with the latest rumours around Lil Boozy and his recovery from a recent gunshot wound. People are saying that Lu the, the Louisiana rapper's diabetes may be a cause in the potential amputation of his leg. Some outlets are reporting that rapper Lil Boozy is suffering with complications in hospital with his leg. You can see a few different accounts reporting the rumour via Twitter. Um... And here he is. I mean, you can see this guy's wicked, man. Just look at this guy's eyes, man. That is, a, that is a dark soul right there, man. That is a dark soul right there, man. You know, that's a carnal, carnal man in every sense of the word. You know, with his line up there, no beard on his face and bloodshot red eyes. <laughs> that is a wicked two-third. I mean, look at, look at his moustache. What's he, what's he doing chopping up his moustache like that for, man? It's ridiculous, man. Absolutely ridiculous. But you know, this guy is in the spirit of Babylon. Let's keep going. Uh, my mixtapes Twitter account says Boozy is still in hospital after recovering from a gunshot, but is reportedly suffering from complications with his leg due to diabetes. Many sources report that his leg might end up getting amputated. Keep Boozy in your prayers. Now, why are we going to pray for this guy when he was talking ill against Yahweh? Why are we going to send up prayers to Yahweh to heal this man who was um, basically saying, you know, F God and I ain't even going to repeat the things that he was saying because I don't want it to come out of my mouth. But, um, you know, what I mean, he was talking all kinds of mess. Why should why should we pray to the Lord to heal this man who wanted nothing to do with the Lord? That made no sense, man. Shows you how hypocritical and stupid these people are, man. But anyway, it's from Daily Loud. Boozy may now have to get his leg amputated as the gunshot wound from this weekend is not healing. Let me bring that precept out again, man. Deuteronomy 32 and 39. 
See now that I, even I, am he, and there is no God with me. I kill, and I make alive. I wound, i.e. this man got shot in the leg. The Mosiah was behind that. And I heal. And now this guy's leg's not healing. Guess who's, who's preventing his leg from healing? Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. So judgment has come upon this guy. Now he's reaping the, reaping the fruits of the words he spoke. It says, damn breaking news. They say Boozy's leg is not looking good after being shot last weekend. And his leg might have to be amputated. Heartbroken. Why are you going to be heartbroken over this wicked ass reprobate hair, man? Look at the razor sharp line up there. <laughs> you know, marring the corners of his beard. Going off, man. Going off. Uh, from Domi's Live News. Boozy's leg may be amputated after getting shot and complications due to diabetes. Ah, man. And look at this worldly guy here, man. Look at this worldly guy here. Once again, <laughs> raise a sharp line up, marring the corners of his beard, and trying to floss with these stupid ass chains and diamond watches. What a loser. All exterior, no interior. Anyway. With everyone being concerned about the well-being of the beloved rapper from the boot, the internet has exploded with the word that Boozy may lose his leg after complications from a recent incident in Dallas that left him with a gunshot wound. Now I am being cautious and calling this a rumour as no word from little Boozy himself or his family and friends for that matter has been put out. With now with the now Atlanta based rapper being so vocal on social media already, I tend to believe that the news would come from Boozy himself. I'm being extra hopeful as little Boozy does suffer from diabetes and hoping this isn't true at all. <laughs> if it is true, I hope the best for Boozy badass. Just a really scary situation all round. Yeah, you don't mess with the most high, the most high's the king of terrors, man. Let me get that one. Maybe if he'd have kept his mouth shut, he wouldn't have ended up getting shot. Um, yes. This is the book of Job, chapter 18 and verse 14. This says, his confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. Yep. Let me read that again. His confidence shall be rooted out of his tabernacle and it shall bring him to the king of terrors. The king of terrors is Yahweh. You don't mess with the most high man. Um, the rest of Twitter is reacting in real time. Check out some of the reactions from the horrible news below. This ain't horrible, man. What is horrible is what he said about the Most High. All because he wanted to eat some pork. Damn fool. Damn, 2020 ain't sparing nobody. Prayers for Boozy. No, we ain't praying for Boozy, man. Boozy is still in the hospital, blah, blah, blah. We read that already. Damn, Boozy. Wait, what? Bruzy may now have to get his leg amputated as a gunshot wound from this weekend is not healing. Oh no, I forgot about Bruzy's diabetic. <laughs> well, I guess that's the end of the article. So let's get some precepts and close this out. I don't need to make this any longer than it needs to be. So we want our Bible. Let's get Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. It says, Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Yep. Yeah. For he that soweth to his flesh shall reap of the, of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the Spirit shall of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Let me read Galatians 6 and 7 once more. Be
Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And in regards to praying for this character, which is something that we're not going to do, us to see the truth, we're supposed to pray for the righteous, not the wicked. Proverbs 17 and verse 15. It says, He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to Yahweh. Yeah? He that justifieth the wicked, and he that condemneth the just, even they both are abomination to Yahweh. So those that are praying for this guy, while condemning the righteous, which is the brothers who are doing the roof, tr doing the truth, not the roof, doing the truth, doing the work of the truth, doing the will of the Heavenly Father, we're being condemned, but these wicked Reprobate two thirds have been uplifted in this world. You know, it's just ridiculous. This is um, Proverbs thirteen thirteen is a good one to get. It says, "Whoso de despiseth the word shall be destroyed, he, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded." And little Boozy despised the word because he um. You know he didn't want to get he didn't want to get down with the truth. He wanted to re reject the truth just so he could eat some stinking ass swine's flesh, some pork. So let's read this again. Proverbs thirteen thirteen. Whoso despise if the word shall be destroyed, but he that feareth the commandment shall be rewarded. Um, Proverbs twenty eight and nine. This says um. He that turneth away his ear from the hearing of the law, even his prayer shall be abomination. Whoso causeth the righteous to go astray in an evil way, he shall fall himself into the pit, but the upright shall have good things in possession. Um, follow not a multitude to do evil. Let's get that one. There we go, found it. This is Exodus chapter 23 and verse 2. It says, Thou shalt not follow a multitude to do evil, neither shalt thou speak in a, claw, in a cause to decline after many to rest judgment. You know, so we're not supposed to rest judgment. We're supposed to keep the law, statutes and commandments that were handed down to us on Mount Sinai because we're the people of the covenant, you know. So anyway, don't need to make this any longer than it needs to be. So with that, giving all praise and all glory unto Yahweh Hashem Yahushai Hashem Chachodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone of Well. And shalom to you, Ark, and we pushing this word around the around the globe in faith and in truth and sincerity. And until the next lesson, Lord willing, I say shalom wa ababa wa kwanashuala shalom.